An actress from prison drama Orange is the New Black has recalled the trauma of being separated from her family at the age of 14 after they were deported from the U.S. addressing an immigration rally in Washington, D.C. On Saturday, Diane Guerrero spoke of her experience as the daughter of undocumented immigrants, explaining how her experience would have been far worse if she were detained by ICE, I would have had a much different story to tell if I had been imprisoned after. Being separated from my family, without a warm bed and only the cold faces of ICE agents and the crinkly feeling of a mylar blanket, she said, speaking following the separation of more than 2,000 minors from their parents at the U.S. southern border is part of the Trump administration's now-defunct family separation policy. I was lucky enough to be with my parents until I was 14. Having my parents tell me that I could do anything, that I was special, and that I matter, she added, according to Media ET. Guerrero, who plays Maritza Ramos on the show, told the DC. Crowd they should remember the separation of children from their parents when they got to the polls in November, urging them, remember this in November, when we marched to the polls. Remember our anger, our outrage and the desire to act. Remember in November that the end to these cruel policies starts with us, the Hollywood Reporter said. The families belong together rally in D.C was one of at least 700 demonstrations held across the country over the weekend, demanding that children who had been separated from their parents on arriving to the U.S. be reunited with their families. Despite the president signing an executive order in June reversing the policy that separated children from their parents if they were found to have arrived in the U.S., Without documentation, the New York Times reported that many of the children held apart from their parents may remain alone, I don't know why I was lucky enough to have people in my community take me in, to be able to continue school or why I was lucky enough to find work or to go to college. I do know that kind of luck is one in a million. Guerrero added, I also know I wouldn't have been so lucky if I had been among today's generation of children who will be irreversibly damaged by our government's actions.